Hi everybody, my name is Radek and this is my video about uh, postage stamps. And let's start with a question. Uh, are postage stamps just a hobby or are they also uh, suitable for investing purposes? Well, I believe that uh, if you want to, you can also invest your money in them. Uh, I do so uh, for many, many years. I've been collecting stamps uh, since I was a child. And uh, actually in the last years, I have also decided uh, to have a look on this uh, investment uh, side of, uh, of postage stamps and some other collectibles. Today I would like to show you some uh, nice items uh, from old Austria and Germany. The stamps uh, which we will see today are actually not really expensive. Uh, you can get them, if you have a bit luck, for just a few hundred, uh, hundreds of euros. And uh, frankly, to be honest, uh, almost every collector can afford it nowadays. But uh, these stamps, uh, which you will see, are in really excellent condition. All of them are in so-called mint, never hinged quality. What does that mean? For those who have never heard what uh, actually a hinge is, it's just a piece of paper which collectors uh, used to use uh, for sticking their stamps uh, in their albums. Years ago, and when, when I'm saying uh, years ago, it's uh, before 1945, uh, Collectors used to uh, stick, used to glue their stamps uh, directly on uh, on uh, pre-printed uh, albums, and uh, they they were there like this, which actually means that they are damaged the glue on the back side, and uh, this habit changed uh, after the war, and uh, collectors these days are looking for uh, stamps which are in mint, never hinged quality, which means the glue on the back side of the stamp is uh, or looks as if it was uh, absolutely new. It, it shouldn't be damaged. And of course, mint means uh, that there is no cancel, no postmark uh, on the uh, front side of the stamp. So these stamps, which I will show you, are all in mint, never hinged quality. And believe me, there are not many items uh, in this quality. There have not many items survived uh, until today. So uh, there is a quite a big uh, demand uh, for uh, this kind of stamps because uh, stamps of uh, old Austria and old Germany are collected by uh, hundreds of thousands of collectors worldwide. Old German states, uh, old uh, Austria is being collected not just in Germany and Austria, but also uh, in the whole uh, Central Europe and also in the USA, in Asia, in Australia, in South America, and so on and so on and so on. So let's have a look on these stamps. Uh, I hope uh, that you will like them. First stamps uh, which I'm going to show you today are these four uh, pieces from uh, Old Austria, so-called Kaiserkopfs, uh, 20 Kreiser to 50 Kreiser, nominal value as you can see there, with trial applied uh, lacquer strips. There are four to five stripes on each stamp at a degree of uh, 45. Uh, angle which were intended to prevent the stamps from being uh, reused. All stamps are with the original gum without hinge. As you can see. And of course are with a certificate of uh, authenticity. authenticity. These are not really uh, expensive uh, items. Uh, you can uh, purchase them if you have a bit luck for uh, lower hundreds of euros. Next stamp which I will show you 
is also from Austria. It's a pair of Eine Krone Carmine Pink stamps in vertical pair, which are quite common actually. However, when you have a proper look at these stamps, there is a missing perforation between them, which makes them uh, pretty rare, especially in this uh, mint never hinged uh, condition again. These stamps uh, are, as I said, again, not really very expensive. However, to find them in this condition on the market is not easy at all. And if you manage so, you should be able to get them again for a lower hundreds of euros. So let's have a look at Another item which I have here today. It is an old Austrian stamp, uh, Sechs Kreuzer, in brown color, with a nice cancel from Humpolets, which is a small town in the central part of uh, Bohemia, some hundred kilometers. Uh, southeast uh, from uh, Prague and uh, this stamp is uh, very common uh, also the cancel would be quite common however uh, this is a very special one because the color of the cancel I hope that you will be able to see it on the video is blue and uh, there is a very special uh, publication very special book uh, for uh, which is dealing with uh, Austrian uh, postmarks, Austrian cancels. It was written uh, by uh, Mr. Miller, and uh, this Mr. Miller uh, writes in his book that uh, this cancel comes in black color only. He has never seen a blue color, which makes it uh, really very, very rare and uh, valuable. And every collector who knows a bit uh, something about uh, these stamps and about these cancels uh, would be really happy to have it in, uh, in his collection. Uh, this is also written in this small certificate from uh, Mr. Dr. Ferchenbauer, which is the biggest capacity, the best uh, person for Austrian stamps uh, ever. And uh, he states here that it's a uh, Miller catalog number 1058A. Uh, and here is written that it's just in black color in this catalog, which means that uh, the blue color is really very rare. Items like this uh, can be found on the market. Uh, they are not common but uh, they can be found uh, and you will probably have to pay a few hundred uh, euros for them. Let me show you Another item, uh, it's also from Humpolets. It's uh, on a stamp uh, from uh, year 1850, free Kreuzer Rose color. The catalog number of Miller is uh, 1058B. And uh, this uh, stamp and uh, cancel is on a folded letter from Humpolets to Helinsko, which is a small town, uh, some uh, 50 kilometer from uh, Humpolets. This is not expensive item. Uh, if you find it somewhere, you should be able to uh, get it for for quite uh, quite a low. Nice. So, and the last piece which I have here today for you is an old German stamp. 
Germania, then Fennig with overprint Sare. Well, this stamp is uh, quite uh, quite common. Also with the overprint, it's not really uh, a rarity. However, when you have a have a look, uh, you can see that there is a double overprint. The one is uh, shifted some four millimeters downwardly, and uh, this uh, double overprint makes it actually a bit more rare. And when you have a look again. The stamp is in mint, never hinged condition with original glue, which makes it really rare. You won't be able to find uh, many of them on the market uh, in this condition. There are very few surviving stamps in this uh, condition and the supply can uh, in no way meet the demand because uh, Sare Old Germany is being uh, collected by uh, thousands and thousands collectors, uh, not only in Germany but uh, really worldwide. So it's, it's really worth to uh, look uh, for stamps like this in this condition. Again, uh, if you find it, uh, you should be probably able to get it uh, for less than uh, 500 euros. If you are very lucky, maybe you will find it in some old collection for just a few euros, but uh, it's, uh, well, I don't think that uh, it's easy to find it in, in old collections in this condition. Back again. I hope that you like the stamps. As you could see, they are really in a good, uh, and I would even say in a excellent condition. And uh, because I'm always trying uh, to say something a bit educative in my uh, videos about philately and uh, about postage stamps, please try to remember one point from this video, and it is the quality matters. There are millions of uh, really damaged, damaged, uh, low quality stamps on the market. But the collectors are always looking for the best quality. They want to have the best of the best in their collection. And there are really not many stamps. Uh, not many stamps have survived uh, until today in, uh, in the best uh, quality. So please remember that. Always the best quality. I hope that you liked the video, so uh, if you did, please uh, be so kind and uh, give me a like here on YouTube, I would really appreciate it. And of course, uh, feel free to uh, share this video with your friends on your uh, social media profiles. And uh, if you feel like, uh, please also uh, follow me on my Facebook, which is uh, at Investiční Známky. I will write it down here for you because uh, it's in Czech. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. And uh, if you, it would be great if uh, you could uh, follow me here on YouTube and uh, because I'm working on uh, some other videos and uh, I will be posting them shortly. So thank you very much once again for watching and uh, I'm looking forward to see you the next time. Take care. Bye bye.